welcome to the part three of this tutorial so what I want to achieve now is you see instead of me writing lines of code for them all to be disabled on form load so what I'm going to do is let's come right down here double click on form initialize and right here I'm going to delete this because that's going to take me forever and just enter these very lines of codes all right you see with this single lines of codes here what will happen is all of these will be disabled okay so from here up to here and this is not necessary really so let's take that off and that's that's all there is to it just three these three lines of codes and the variable that was declared here so maybe let's move that up here okay so if I run it now that we actually disabled all of my text box look at that and the same thing is used for the reset so let's come in here let's double click on the reset so that you guys can see what's in there or what's on the reset right here the same lines of codes has been used for the reset and the same thing to clear whatever content I have on the if the checkbox is checked so that will clear it so let's run it and you see what I'm talking about all of these are enabled but I cannot enter any I cannot do anything with just these other ones because no lines of codes in there yet so if I click on reset there we go so I, I believe you guys get the whole idea right so let's continue with our individual lines of codes for these ones so if I double click on these there we go those are the lines of code that enables the text box and you can enter value in there okay let's just move this aside so that you guys can see it I'm gonna copy it come right onto the come right here double click on the dress paste that in the for dress and do come down here paste that so that means all of the content in here will come dress it's going to be painstaking so there should be another way around that just go ahead change it individually and repeat the same thing for this okay that's that done and this one I'm just gonna copy all of this cut it all off delete this very one here and paste that in there that is the dress taken care of all right so I'm going to repeat the same thing for the other checkbox and I'll get back to you guys okay let's come right here double click on that click and the same thing will be repeated right up here okay let's copy that paste get rid of this and replace it with that and change the name to skate Now that you guys get the whole idea, I'm just gonna speed that up now. So I'm gonna copy it and speed it up. Then I'll get back to you as soon as I'm done. Alright, all of those lines of codes are taken care of. There they are. They are all similar though. So all that is left for me to do now is to finalize the total. Okay, these are for the checkbox 
All right, back in here. Now let's double click on the total itself. Right in here. The first thing I'm going to do is you guys can still remember the array that was declared so that's going to be items item 0 equals this very array this very price here the jeans here's that in there multiply by so that's going to be txt jeans jargons dot text there that's the very first one and the second one is going to be let's copy this or oh, we can just copy all of this let's copy and change this around Right, this one is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So let's change this one, this one around first. Then is the jackets copy that and change that and the text box name. Let's see, does it right there? TXT copy back in there and just change it around there. So I'm going to repeat the same thing for all. Let's just speed that up and get back to you guys shortly and there we go guys there they are that's 17 uh, 15 oh 17 in total 0 1 to 16 now I then use array number 17 to add up everything here and there we go all right so array number 18 to add up 5 to 9 array number 19 to add up 10 to 13 then 20 to add up 14 15 16 let's get rid of this that's not needed all right now we now need to add up all of these which we have done here okay Then yeah, that is that for now. And here I'm going to now use a different method to work out my the tax. So let's get rid of this. And we we'll sort that out again so uh, we add all of these together which i've done here so let's say items items 22 equals item 21 21 we we'll multiply that by Multiply that by tax rate underscore rate tax underscore rate and divide that by 100. So that should give me the tax. So this will be for subtotal that's 22 
tabs and so on and let's say txt x dot text equals item 22 right and the other one is going to be txt subtotal equals item 21 because item on um, item 21 we add everything up here and that is the subtotal so the total is going to be item 21 plus plus item 22 so copy that there so that is that done get rid of this right save that let's run it and see how it's going to look like okay let's try it out select that let's enter what about item we want in there and in here I'm just going to select and I will not enter any value mistakenly Gym. right let's click on total there we go you see these ones without value nothing happens to them the reason being because I use by value so let's exit the exit is not working reset works reset is not working for this we need to check that out all right so what we need to then do is come back in here if you notice there is no pound sign as well there's no pound sign so I'll we'll click nothing reset yeah that's fine but not working for these ones so click on total come right down here just for your information variables declared let's change that I'm gonna change the tax rate to about 32% no, that might be too much 22 is okay and here this is where the calculation took place there we go that's the calculation but there is no pound sign so let's add a pound sign to it there we go you can do it that way too right that seems to be too much line of codes well that's all right or we can just okay let's just copy this move it here cover this up yeah and get rid of this okay let's see this this all right i might as well leave it like this now let's run it again and select whatever click on that reset there we go so let's take care of this this those three that are not working come right down here double click on reset and those three that are now working come right down here I'm gonna paste that no that's the wrong one let's copy down here copy those three and just reset them separately reset paste right underneath here and copy and paste So those reset are taken care of now right the other thing that is left for me to do now is let's take care of the exit come right down here and double click on the exit and right here those are the lines of code for exit taken care of as well now finally let's take care of the reset on the 
reset itself so I'm gonna have to speed that up because I'm running out of time all right guys uh, the receipt is completed so let me show you the lines of codes the first thing I did was to enable that and I also clear whatever contents we have on the receipt I've also entered the the cost of everything in an array there so that I can use them within the receipt and right below so take a good look at it before I move it down are the lines of code for the receipt that's the title of the receipt AUSA sales management system and from here down here are all the items that we sell we have tax subtotal and total if you are wondering what is VB tab that's just a tab and if you are wondering what is VB VBC RLF that's carryover that's how we use it in visual VBA Excel VBA actually and that's all there is to it so what I'm going to do now is let me show it to you again one more time that is the receipt bring it down the variables that are declared and there so I'm going to now run it now there we go there so if I click on total there and here select receipt there we go that's how the receipt looks like but there's one thing look at this total let's enable the total box so let's come right in here copy it double click on that I think up here I can always say TXA tax dot enable equals true right repeat the same thing for subtotal and total TSC sub total there and TXE total there so that should take care of those so we'll run it one more time alright click on total there we go guys and receipt right there so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoyed and you all have a nice day now bye for now